Okay, so I am here with a big girl. Hola. Cool. And, um, so one day my brother told me a really weird game. It was like, I do have a really weird game, which is Pumpkin World. And then, he showed me. And so then I'm like, I'm going to look the game up and I'm going to play it. And so here I am playing this game. I know normally I do animal jam, but today I'm not. Okay, so what do you think of this game? It's scary. I mean, like, the first time, he's so picky because kids in Africa like would beg for that food. He's like, no. Hey, do you like pineapples? We're going to let you answer the questions. Do you like pineapples? Yes, yes. or no? I like pineapples. Okay, we like pineapples. Yes, I do. I do like. Okay, if you don't like pineapples, then get out because I like pineapples. Pineapples. I bet this was made by some British people. It looks like something British people would make. No offense, I'm not saying you're bad or anything, but do you like bananas? Do we like bananas? Okay. Yes, I do. I do like. Are you? Yeah. Nobody knows that. Who you are or why you're stuck, dude? Do you like star fruits? Do you like star fruits? It's basically like kiwi. Oh yes, I like kiwi. I think it's the same thing as kiwi. I do like. I don't even know because I'm eighty percent Italian, so I only know like half of the Italian food and half English food. I'm not even eighty percent Italian. I am like mangoes. I think I'm like 95. I just don't like. I think I'm like. I'm 90. I'm 90 percent Italian and 10 percent English. I'm like 95 Italian, so yes, I, the I next do. 5 percent is I really just my accent. Like the next step is my English accent and my knowledge. Wait, so are you English at all? Like I'm England. I'm I'm 5% five, five English and 95% Italian, but I'm originally from America and not Italy. My mom's whole entire family on both sides is Italian, and my dad is English. So I'm a tiny bit English, but mostly Italian. Okay, stupid game, guys. Uh, um, it's so scary. I just don't like it. It's like food. We're going to play bar, bar Disco. This sounds like... Good. Okay, guys, I got a joke for you. You guys want to hear? You guys want to hear something funny? What if somebody put Elmo in the pumpkin dude blind date? Oh my god! Like they just like Elmo, could you come here for um a few days? Um, I need you to teach me how to sing the ABCs. And then Elmo's like, sure. Then the pumpkin guy's like, could you come here a few days? I need you to help me eat my refrigerator and everything in it. And the pumpkin guy's like, sure. So they come here and they meet each other. And then oh, Elmo's like, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. And the pumpkin guy's like, oh, no, no. And Elmo's like, uh, where are your manners? You need to say please and excuse me and you need to ask for that food. And then Elmo, and the pumpkin guy's like, I don't care. And then he just hits Elmo really hard. That's the story. No, I was telling him what would happen if Elmo and the pumpkin guy met. I know. Like, the Elmo, the Elmo. Welcome. The Elmo comes up and he's like, teach me how to sing. Teach me how to sing. Teach me how to sing. You know, I'm not going to do Okay, then. Listen carefully. Okay. Duck. Sheep. Guys. Goat. I'm sorry I brought you into this, and I now I feel horrible. You shouldn't feel horrible. I I just feel horrible for anyone who plays this, and anyone who plays this. I just feel bad for. Anybody who plays this, I feel I feel so bad for you. If I ever knew something like, if I ever knew a kindergartner who played this, I would literally say to them, "You need to stop playing this." And if they refuse to, then I'd probably have to hypnotize them to stop playing it. You know what I would do? I would just be like, I would just take away all their electronics because my kids don't even have electronics by the time they're like 10. If my kid were, if I had a kid and he ever felt this game, the first thing I would do is say, you're not allowed to play this game. And then I'd block the game forever. Like, I'd block the website. What is that? Good morning.
morning, children. What a beautiful day. What vegetables are there to eat? But I'm gonna quickly share my screen on Skype. I'll be right back. Lights is counting down. What the heck? You see the bunny, right? Yep. So this is a bunny, and he looks like he's blind. So, um, guys, if you want to go ahead in the comments, I'm going to have a little competition. Anybody in the comments who is... Anybody in the comments, I want you all to make jokes about this in the comments below. Just make ridiculous jokes, because it is so stupid, I would deserve to be made fun of. So go ahead and make all the jokes you want about this game. In the comments. Are there any creeps? No, there are not. There aren't any greens. Oh my God. Any green peppers? I'm off this now. Okay, well. Are there so any? Yeah, we're gonna go away from this. Is he really like? Okay, okay. Yeah. He's actually a little bit. Perfect for drying these clothes. What? Here's my first ever voice. What a windy day! Perfect for killing people! Because nobody cares. Sandals. Gloves. No, no, no. Okay. That means no eyes. Oh, no. This kid should try and play them all. So, yeah, you get the point. This is a stupid game. And if you have kids. If any of you watching this have kids, or any of you watching this have a younger sibling who plays educational games Make sure like this, games. or you have, or you're in a relationship to anybody who plays younger games like this, whether it's a relative or a friend's sibling, or you know anyone who plays educational games like this, keep this one as far away from the list as possible. And yeah. if somebody ever plays this game, this is what you should do. Go into the game and lock it forever. And if somebody wants to play it, then you can just explain to them. Yeah. Hey, AJ girl, tell us what you'll tell us why people should not let their younger siblings play this. Because listen, there's a pumpkin on there. She's very like picky on she's sorry for my language of like the younger um um viewers. But this pumpkin kid is so picky. And like, he's like, no, I don't want this. So let me tell you something, you're fat. I mean, I mean, it's just pixels, but they're teaching kids to be picky. So I mean, if you want these children to learn about being picky, then play this game. But if you don't want them, just skip it through all of this. They're saying, okay. And also, you don't want people, you don't want to teach people to, if your kid says, if you, your kid plays this game, and then you ask your kid, you're going to eat green beans for dinner tonight. And then when you give them the green beans, they'll throw it off their plate. And they'll be like, no, I don't want this. And then you'll be like, where did you learn this? And then they'll be like, from the pumpkin well game you showed me. They'll be shocked. Well, you never play this game. So, um, goodbye and night. Never play pumpkin water rocks. Even if it's life or death matters. And they will kill you if you don't play it. Just, just, just like, don't play it. Even that. Okay, so bye. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Say bye.